The Sylvan Arms folding stock adapter. Let's check it out. Having a folding stock on any rifle makes it really compact, makes it easy to stow, easy to transport. With the AR-15, because of the buffer tube and the bolt carrier group riding back into that tube, you know, that's one of the things that the AR-15 has really lacked over the years. Because of the direct impingement gas system. Uh, Laws Tactical came out with a folding stock adapter a few years ago. I have one. It's great. But they're really expensive. So Sylvan Arms has come out with their folding stock adapter, and this is actually their Gen 3. They put together a couple of others, but it just allows you to take your buffer tube and just fold it over. And so this makes it really easy and compact to be able to stow this away uh, when you need to, and then it's really quick to deploy. And so we're going to take a look at the Sylvan. Uh, it's a much lower price. There are some advantages. There are some disadvantages, and we're going to take a look at all of those. But I really appreciate Classic Firearms for sending the Sylvan. And what's really cool is I'm here in South Carolina and Sylvan is made in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. They do a lot of other accessories for the AR-15, plus they make suppressors. Now guys, here we have it installed on the rifle. Uh, installation was really easy. Uh, very simple. If you can change out a buffer tube, you can install this. Uh, honestly, much easier than the Laws Tactical. And unfortunately, YouTube restricts any kind of installation of parts. I mean, there are people that do it. In fact, there are videos out there. Uh, we'll probably put an installation video on GetZone.com where all of our builds and installation videos are. But overall, I love the ability to be able to fold this. Uh, it makes it so much more compact, and especially with some of the legislation that could be coming against pistols. Uh, this just gives us another option to keep a very compact firearm in the AR-15. Got a V7 upper, 2A armament lower, primary arms. This is the Raptor. It's 1 to 8, first focal plane. And then we have a Bravo Company Mod Zero stock. There's no magazine, and the gun is empty. Now, here's the adapter. Uh, you have your button here to fold your stock, and it just folds around really smooth. Uh, there are detents built in that will keep it folded so it doesn't just kind of flop back. Uh, and then it just closes. It's real easy to deploy. Uh, it is made from 70-75 T6 aluminum, uh, so that's going to keep actually corrosion down. With a steel adapter, I mean, there is a possibility of corrosion. It does come with a really small castle nut that fits with your buffer tube here. Then you install it, you have a back plate, and then you use your original back plate and castle nut to mount against the adapter. This is the Gen 3. And they did have a few issues with the earlier models. Uh, one was that when you released it, that there was no detent and this would just flop around. The detents kind of give it a little bit of pressure against here, but it's really easy to bring around and lock into place. Uh, again, you want to deploy it, just bring it, and it comes right into place against your receiver. Now here you have your standard buffer and buffer spring right here in your regular buffer tube. There's a catch that holds the bolt extension into place. So we're going to depress it and we're going to pull out our bolt. And we don't need to pull it all the way out. And I'm just going to pull apart this bolt extension. You can see that it has these rubber gaskets that fit right in the end of your bolt carrier. So it just goes right into place. We can take and push that button and then just put it, drop it in. Now, one thing they say, in fact, it says it right here, is do not fire when this is open. Uh, you may be able to get one shot. This may actually come out. And so you want to make sure that you keep this closed. This is more for keeping it compact and transportable more than being able to fire very quickly. The hinges glide very smoothly, just comes around, locks into place. 
Now disassembly is a little different. Uh, you want to bring around, fold your stock, and then we're going to push in the button that releases the stock and pull back on your charging handle. Now this is going to bring that extension out. You want to go ahead and remove it and then push that button again and push your bolt carrier group all the way back into chamber. Uh, if it doesn't go all the way back in, use your forward assist. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring back my buffer tube and then I'm going to hit the takedown pin. Pull it out and then of course it'll come right off just like normal. To reassemble, just drop it down, engage your takedown pin. We're going to bring our folding stock back around, pull out, engage your release, pull our bolt out, take our bolt extension, put it back in, depressing that button, and then it goes right back in. I mean, it's not really that much more difficult to do. Now with the Laws Folding Stock Adapter, it actually kind of comes down and lines up more with your receiver, so it's a little bit more of a shape. This has a little bit more of a blocky feel to it, but it's really good and solid. And while it is a little longer because of this space right here, it's only about a half inch difference. Now any of your folding stock adapters is going to add some length to your buffer tube and to your stock, your length of pull. Uh, we have about two inch increase in length here. One of the things about having an adjustable stock is that I can set this wherever I want to. And of course I can bring this in a couple of inches to set it to my preferred length of pull. That way I can take, fold it, I can leave it in that length of pull. One thing that I do typically with rifles, especially if I'm going to stow them or if we're going back and forth to the range, is I collapse the stock all the way. With this, I don't have to mess with it. I can just pull it out. It doesn't really add a lot to the side, and I have the correct length of pull, and I'm ready to go. So while you still need to deploy your stock around, when you get it around, it's at that right length of pull. And so that's, to me, a, a big advantage of being able to use this. It doesn't really increase the length, but then it gives you that capability. One thing, too, is it's set in there. I think the original Sylvan adapters, uh, they, they weren't really held up with detents and they would kind of flop over some. And so obviously they've made some upgrades to this. I want to thank Fioki for sponsoring the ammo, all made right here in the USA. And uh, we're going to be shooting quite a bit, testing this Sylvan folding stock adapter out. Now we installed the adapter, we took it down to the range, and we shot about 300 rounds through it, uh, thanks to Fiocchi, a big thanks to Fiocchi, because otherwise we'd be very limited. And of course we tested it, it was flawless. Sometimes when adding that extra weight, I was concerned that we may have some issues, but nothing. We didn't have any malfunctions whatsoever. It just worked. It's really tight. Uh, you know, it is aluminum, whereas your laws is steel, uh, which is gonna add extra weight. But one of the things that your receiver's aluminum, your buffer tube's aluminum, uh, your back plate and your castle nut's steel. So really, I don't see aluminum as being a weakness. Uh, maybe with some of the pivot points that you're bringing in, you could get a little extra wear, but you're not going to be flopping your stock out all the time. You take it, you bring it in, you stow it away. When you want to use it, you pull it out and you use it. But it was firm against the shoulder. We were shooting it in a lot of different positions. Uh, it's really strong and really we couldn't tell a bit of difference. The only thing that we could tell was when you could bring it in and you could pop it out and it made it a nice compact package. Now with the Sylvan stock adapter, just folds over. There's a little piece right here you push, a little button, and it folds it over to 90 degrees. Then you can bring it back out and immediately shoot it. Even with a round in the chamber, close it makes it really compact. Bring it back around. I mean, it's really simple. With the last round bolt hold open, your bolt carrier is all the way back into the tube, into your buffer tube. So you can't manipulate it now. So you have to wait, go ahead and release your bolt. Then you can stow it away. This thing is super tight. I knew when I was putting it and installing it. I mean, it is just rock solid. Now with a PCC carbine, there are some considerations. If you're using a custom bolt or you have a custom system for your buffer spring and buffer, you can go to the website and they do have a lot of information there about what you need to do to contact them. But on a standard AR-15, this works just perfectly.
They also make adapters for the CZ Scorpion and a lot of other things. I mean, very innovative company. Just seems like it's really good quality. As far as comparing it to the Laws Tactical, uh, Laws comes in with a 4140 steel. It's really solid. The quality is really good. I've had a lot of good experience with it. I do like the shape of the Laws a little better. It does kind of trim down some. Installation on the Sylvan is easier. The weight on the Sylvan is less. The price is is considerably less. Now one of the big advantages of the Sylvan is the price. Uh, this comes in at $150 on the Classic Firearms website. Uh, your Lost Tacticals typically runs about $250, $269. And so you have quite a bit of savings. Plus you have a lighter weight package. Uh, this is weighing in at about six ounces, whereas when you bring in your Laws, it's about 10 and a half ounces. And so that definitely would play in, especially if you want something compact and you want to transport it. Uh, the Lost Tactical is an excellent quality. I have one. I love it. But again, the price is just more expensive. But overall, I mean, it just doesn't add a whole lot of length to the firearm. And then when you collapse the stock to that right position, it doesn't add anything. And then it, yet it gives you that capability to fold this over. And it makes it really easy to put into a pack, to put into your truck you know, just to carry to the range. And if you're like me, when you're carrying stuff to the range, you need all the room you can get because I want to pack as much as I can in there. So again, I want to thank Classic Firearms for sending the Sylvan Arms Gen 3 folding stock adapter. I mean, this is a great option. Again, makes it really compact, easy to stow, and it doesn't really add much to the firearm. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Rifle, uh, and then you do have the bolt assembly, whatever that thing is. What is it? It's the bolt extension. The place, and so you just turn it. Whoops. Let's do that again. Pull our bolt out. How are we going to do that? Doesn't really increase the length. It just gives you a. Doesn't really increase. It doesn't really include. It doesn't really increase. It doesn't increase the weight. I want to thank Fioki for sponsoring the... Whoops. <laughs> One thing about this is it just was... It... But today we're going to be taking a look at the Sylvan Arms A3 